Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and here on this channel we talk about writing, journaling, and productivity to help you create a life that you love. So for today's video I actually went into my closet and pulled out all my archives to find my 2017 travel journal. So this is a leather journal that my mom actually gifted me back in 2017 when I took my trip to Costa Rica and I am feeling kind of nostalgic so I wanted to go through it and I figured you know what I'm going to show you guys what I do when I make my travel journals because coming up very soon I'm going to be traveling once again finally and I'm going to making be making another travel journal so I wanted to give you guys kind of an idea of what to expect and how I go about it. So yeah, this will be a quick journal flip through. It'll be really chill, but I think that sometimes that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, before we get into it, I also wanted to point out that I will be putting a link in the description box below for this particular journal. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing purchasing one just like this next time, but I will be doing another leather one because I think that there's something nice and authentic about a leather travel journal. So yeah anyway before we get into this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this and uh yeah let's just go ahead and get into the flip through all right so we're going to go through this journal i also want to point out that i'm going to be showing some pictures and videos from the trip to help kind of elaborate more on what was going on because the trip was just super exciting so starting out we have this title page that honestly is really sad because i didn't know how to make a title page properly so the first journal entry is actually about my experience going on an airplane for the first time and going to an airport for the first time because i had never done it before in my life so I ended up saving all of the uh, baggage slips and tickets and just everything because I wanted to commemorate my first time on a plane and out of the country. When we got to Costa Rica, the first thing I noticed was how colorful all the buildings were um, because here in America, everything is brown or gray, <laughs> at least where I live in Indiana. And Costa Rica just had a lot of really colorful buildings. Also, we found out pretty quickly that the main staple food was beans and rice and we had it pretty much every night. On the next day, we ended up going to a coffee plantation, which is why you can see little old me here at this coffee plantation, uh, because coffee is a big production crop in, course, in Costa Rica that they end up shipping out all over the world. So that was pretty fun. Moving on to the next day, we ended up going to see this volcano and I'm so sorry, but all the names escaped me. I do put the names in my journal, but I don't remember all of them. But the volcano was so, so, so pretty and I'm so glad that I got a really good picture of it. I ended up saving this wrapper from a cheeky cookie because I love cheeky cookies. It was like my favorite thing to buy at the stores in Costa Rica and actually coming home, um, I got asked by a security guard if I had any food in my suitcase and I told him I did, I had cheeky cookies and he must have thought I said something really weird because he was like, what did you say? And I was like, they're cookies. And it was kind of a weird experience because he was like, oh, I guess I don't know what he thought I said, but yeah, that was interesting. On this day, we went to La Fortuna Waterfall, and I took a bunch of pictures while we were there. I absolutely loved going here. It was so magical and so cool, but the walk down was super slippery, and I honestly thought I was going to slip off and fall because these steps were so steep and just covered in, like, misty water. So that was a time, but... Here's a little picture of me <laughs> at the waterfall. I hold all my photos and stuff with these little clips or like paper clips and it just it secures them really well and it just looks kind of nice to diversify the way I put things in my journal so it's not just words and photos glued to a page I also hold them in different ways. So this meal here was honestly my favorite meal of the entire trip and again it was like rice and then this bean paste but it was so so good and I loved it. You'll also notice that I use these like little flippy like photos. I p did like a little hole punch and flip through them. On the back of this photo, I wrote the words Pura Vida, which is a phrase that they use in Costa Rica, which means like pure life or simple life because there's this big emphasis on slow living and living in the present moment. So I really, really appreciated that. 
I also use a lot of washi tape to diversify the way my journal looks, so that's always nice as well. On this day, we ended up going to the jungle for the first time, and it was really cool. I saw a sloth, and I got to zip line through the jungle and the treetops, and it was just so green and beautiful, and there's nothing like it here in America, at least that I've found anyway. <laughs> Of my little flippy things. I even put one of the wristbands against that back picture. So this here was we went to a school and there were these girls who did these dances and it's so pretty in slow motion but in a few seconds I'm going to let you listen to the music for it so that way you can kind of experience it. So yeah, that was probably one of my favorite moments of the entire trip, and they ended up getting a lot of people to dance, so that was really fun when they pulled us all in to dance. So then we ended up going to the beach, which was my first time ever being at a beach, and I saw a monkey, which was so cool, but in Costa Rica, monkeys are kind of similar to how people in North America experience raccoons. <laughs> but yeah, I got to go to the beach, and it was just the best thing ever. I feel like I keep saying that in this, this video. <laughs> Towards the end of the trip, I ended up just taking a lot of photos and do documenting what I had. It was kind of a bittersweet moment, but overall, I really enjoyed it, and I was really happy that I could make this scrapbook. So, yeah, and that's it. Hi, so Editing Amelia here. I totally forgot to film the outro, so thank you for watching this video. I know it was a pretty abrupt ending, but I hope that you liked my journal flip through, and if you want to see a better version of it, um, I will... I can make one. <laughs> I can leave one on Instagram and on Pinterest. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again very soon.